All right. Good morning, guys. Actually, I'm going to mute the line as well while I do this. Uh, so um, today is the very first Monday morning motivation call. We'll have them every Monday morning at 11 a.m. Eastern. And uh, this is just a, a quick call, maybe 10 minutes or so, where we go over some mindset principles of some sort uh, just to start your week off right and get you excited, uh, get you inspired, perhaps. Uh, because there's, you know, there's three in ingredients to success. One of them is inspiration to action, right? You need that inspiration to action. So um, I want to talk just briefly, uh, and th this was inspired by a conversation that I had recently uh, with another leader in the uh, network marketing space. But most of the folks I've spoken with that are really successful in the network marketing space weren't born with a silver spoon in their mouths. You know, I've actually noticed it's, you know, it's quite the opposite. Most folks that I've spoken with got involved with network marketing because things weren't great, or at least they weren't, you know, they were wanting to improve the, the quality of their life. They weren't where they wanted to be at. So here's something I believe a lot of people don't consciously realize, though. They decide to join a company for whatever reason, whether it be that, you know, they like the product, they like the upline. Uh, they want the circle of friends that comes with being plugged into that network marketing company, you know, or they have a vision to better their lives, but they never make the decision. And that's what I want to talk about today is making the decision. I want to, I want to see if I can help you make the decision. Okay. So when I was growing up, we lived in my grandma's attic in her old farmhouse, you know, out in the middle of Edmondson County, Kentucky. And, um, you know, it was for the first several years of my life, we were in that attic, right? And then finally got a home of our own, but I wasn't like born into money. I wasn't even born into like middle class. You know, my parents didn't know anything about making money or investing money or anything at all, really. So they didn't really have like a financially abundant life. I've made the decision that I'm not continuing that struggle. You know, I've made the decision that this is going to be the generation that changes the course of my genealogy forever. You have to make the decision, whatever you're making the decision about, you know, it could be that you're making the decision that you're going to be the one that makes sure your kids college tuitions are paid for in cash because you couldn't afford to go to college or whatever. You make the decision that you'll never have to ask your husband for the checkbook again, you know, or that you'll be able to finally give your wife the honeymoon that she deserved, make the decision that you're going to retire your mom like I did, or it could be something as simple as, you know, just not going to take any more crap from that boss that you just can't stand talking to and looking at every day, you know, the guy that doesn't appreciate you and you're going to use Natura forever as the vehicle to get you out of that situation or into that lifestyle that you dream of and you won't take one single day off from building towards your dream until you achieve it. It's just a decision and it has to be a white hot burning desire that permeates through your being every single day and it wakes you up without the need for an alarm clock. You know, um, me personally, I mean, I, 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 if it's Christmas Eve, I'm doing calls and Zooms. If it's Christmas Day, my kids are unwrapping presents. And afterwards, I'm, you know, daddy's, I'm, I'm doing a, a presentation. You know what I'm saying? So that's just how I've been since I started this journey. You know, so I had someone that came to me recently. And uh, they said, Austin, I've, I've been in too many network marketing companies as is. And I've decided this, that Natura Forever is going to be where I build a legacy for the rest of my life. And I'm going to make consistency my slave. I'm gonna show up every single day. I may not get there in the next week or the next month or even the next year, I'm not sure. But I promise you, and they gave me they, their word, that I'll build daily and I'll be the most consistent person you've ever seen. And that got me excited. That got me excited more than someone telling me they're going to put 20 people in this week personally. You know, it got me excited because they've made a decision and they're already following through, you know? So, I mean, they're already following through. Here's, 
Here's the final thought I want to leave you with since we've been talking about making decisions. Every moment of your life, you're making one of two decisions. You're going down one of two different roads, okay? Either one, you're making the decision to be remembered, right? To be a person that people remember whenever they pass. You know, a person that people remember to call during the holidays. A person that people remember and love. Heck, just a person that people remember at all, right? Or you're making a decision through your actions to be forgotten, to be a person that no one or not many people remember. You know, um, it's just like a person that's lost to the pages of history. And it's like they've never existed. There's so many. Every moment you're spending, you're either building a legacy, you're either doing something to be remembered or to be forgotten. Don't be afraid to open up, to put content out there into the world, to help others, to be vulnerable, to give of yourself. Don't be afraid to be remembered because I've met a lot of people, a lot, but I only remember some. You know, I'm proud to say I remember a whole lot of good people, uh, you know, from this profession, from the, you know, the Facebook group. I'm getting to know a lot of people that I'll remember, you know, from Natura Forever's meetings and Zooms uh, and conventions I can't wait to attend. And I'll remember you for the rest of my life. Remember that God feeds the baby birds every morning, but he doesn't shove the worms down their throat, does he? So whatever you want out of this life, whatever you wanted to use the network marketing vehicle for, today is the day you make the decision to stand for what you believe in, that you make the decision to be someone today that your future self will be proud to know. Today is the day we do something about our lives. Thank you guys. Love you. Let's have a killer week. See you in the Facebook group.